If you're like me, you've just finished reading an issue of the Archie comics and you look at the artist and you think, wow, what a great artist. This guy is just so rad. He's just the best artist I've ever seen in my life. Who is he? You look over and you see Tracy Garland and you think, hmm, is Tracy a girl's name? But then you actually look and it's actually a male and you think, wow, this guy is next level. This guy is one of the best artists I've ever seen and I'm so glad he works for Archie, right? That's exactly what you're thinking. That's what we're all thinking. And then you think to yourself, man, I wish I could draw like him. Well, guess what, buddy? You're in the right place. And especially if you're looking to draw hands in general, just just hands in general, you're in the right place. Alright, so let's start, this is how I draw a basic hand, because we have to understand the breakdown of the anatomy. So first, we're going to draw a nice circle. I always draw my hands with a straight circle. Now this is important because this will make the basis of the palm. So now I put in some red lines, and these red lines are going to signify uh, the different fingers. So you have the thumb, pinky and all the rest of them. They're all there. So now we have just the basic hand and this is the left hand. You can put your f hand up towards the screen and you can see, oh, this is the left hand. Now I've put in points of articulation so that you know how each finger bends. Where every time there's a circle that means that it, it'll bend a certain way. Okay, so now we're going to draw the crudest square fingers ever. Look at that, that is the most basic you can draw things. It's literally just squares. It, I don't care about making the fingers look like fingers, I'm just drawing squares. I'm just making sure that I get the shape of the hand correct, especially the palms and the fingers and the th positioning of the thumb. Notice if you put your hand up um, on the screen, it does look like a hand, you know, it's got the basic cartoony feel of what a hand looks like. It's got that feel. And that's important, you need to understand how the hand is gonna feel, how, it, how the anatomy of the hand works. So I've drawn this red square in here so you can see that that is how the basic um, idea of how the palm is going to look. It's going to be short, shorter at the butt base and then sort of gets longer as it moves up towards the knuckles. So once you get the basic anatomy down, you can start to feel it out a little bit and add more details, make it look more like thumbs, make it look more like fingers, you maybe add knuckles in there. And so then you can see that it looks a lot more like a hand. And so that's just a very basic hand, the left hand, very basic anatomy. So the reason I went through that is because you need to understand the fundamental basics of how a hand works, especially in the Archie Sonic comics. Tracy Early draws realistic but yet caricatured, cartoony hands. So it's super important that you know how, to, how the basic hand anatomy works. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, oh, lol, I'm going to draw his hand like that every time. Yeah, my fan character's going to look so cool, right? Or my Sonic character's going to look so cool. Well, that's not an issue. We're going to learn all about posing. Let's do some posing, baby. Alright, so here we have some pictures of Tracy Yardley um, drawn hands. This is from um, a deviant artist named Wani. Uh, he coloured all these um, Tracy Yardley pictures. Thank you, buddy. And uh, yeah, so this is, this is these are different hands posed by Tracy Yardley. And uh, look, I've just added in here all the points of articulation. So see here that he uses the basic anatomy of the hand, which is what we showed before, but he's bent it in the points of articulation to, sh to um, maneuver it in various ways. So as you can see, he's just kept like the basic shape of a hand, but he's just bent it in those points of articulation. So he's posing it that way. So all you really need to know to, to draw like this is to how to how the anatomy of the hand works and then posing of uh, how the bending of articulation is. Now, the issue is how do you know how the shape of the fingers right are? How do they work? Like, I remember I always used to draw hands and like the fingers would just look weird and they'd bend weird ways and I wasn't sure. So here is just a quick, easy guide, very basic guide. So here we have that on each of um, Yardley's fingers, the pointer and the thumb, you can see that it reaches an apex and it's almost a point. He has like a point on it. And I put a circle there and it curved from that point down to, the, to meet the other side of the finger. The easiest way to signify which side of the finger it is, is if you add a definite point. See on that thumb there, right there? That is a point and then it curves back. So wherever the fingernail would be, it's almost like it's emphatically pointed so that you, so even though he's wearing gloves, you can tell, oh, that is the top of the finger. The finger isn't, you know, jutting out in the middle. It's at the top there. It's at the apex of the finger and then it curves down. So that's an easy, very basic way on how to uh, draw fingers that look like fingers, but in a cartoony way. Now, here we have, we're gonna do three basic posings of hands. So I put three circles here. And you can literally do anything to them. So I'm going to put the red lines in and I'm going to show you, see that we have three different um, hands. I'm going to show you how we can turn this 
into hands that look like something. So I've put in these crude red lines, you know, just like I've, I've figured out where the hands would be, where the fingers should be, just from practice, and I've just sort of put them in. And now I've put in crude looking boxes. And they don't even look that bad. The hands look actually, they look all right because I understand how the anatomy of the hand works. And when I, when I um, put in the box um, fingers, I guess you could say the crude drawings, it doesn't look half bad. Again, this all comes with practicing anatomy hand postures. So once you edit it and make it look all nice, put in more realistic looking fingers, it, it doesn't look that bad. This was very quick. I drew these in like a couple of, like 30 seconds. Like that's how, it, it, you commit it to muscle memory and you just, you realize how everything works and you can end up drawing fingers so fast. So here are two massive tips that you need to do if you want to get good at drawing hands. Look at your own hands. Seriously, like, that is probably one of the most important things is when, when you're posing hands, look at your own hands and see, oh, how would the hand look if I did it like this, if I did it like this? I recommend taking photos and uh, looking in the mirror, making that, that's just a super help. And then the, the other help is to look at Yardley's drawing of hands. In fact, I think this is almost, I use this way more, I think, than actually looking at my own hands because the way Yardley draws hands is it's very caricatured, it's very, like it's realistic, but it's cartoony at the same time. If you go through the Sonic comics, just just go through them all and look at all the ways he draws hands and how he poses it. I remember thinking, oh, what does it look like with a three-quarter turn facing downwards, you know, like a weird like position that you would never notice. But then he, he, he would draw it sometimes in like a comic and I'd be like, oh, so that's how he would draw it. And you sort of get a feel of how the hand looks in various positions. And if you know how the anatomy of the hand works, then you can end up, you end up being able to pose just on your own in all these variety of ways. And it is super helpful. So these are just like some quick, easy tips if you didn't already know on how to draw hands, especially like Tracy Yardley. And uh, I thank you for watching the video and uh, looking forward to the next one. See you later. Bye bye.